Now, it's no surprise that you can't just take everything you want onto a cruise ship, but uh, I thought some of these things were logical. I thought some of these things made sense. Well, I've been scouring some of the prohibited item lists on the biggest cruise lines in the world, and man, there's some weird stuff on these lists. This video, 10 weird things you cannot take on a cruise ship. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name's Tony. Let me be your guide into that cruise life today. If you are new here or just been lurking around, consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you won't miss out on any of our cruising content. Well, I firmly believe that rules and laws exist because something's happened that's made them exist. If these items are on the prohibited item list, I got to think somebody tried to take them on a cruise ship before, and uh, if so, wow. 10 weird items that you cannot take on a cruise ship. Number one, a hot plate. Yes, a hot plate. Like you're in a college dormitory heating up a water for ramen noodles. And guess what? You can't do that on a hot plate. If your favorite snack is good old canned mini ravioli from that wonderful Italian chef, Chef Boyardee, you cannot bring a hot plate on the cruise ship to heat up your mini ravioli. Uh, who, who's bringing a hot plate? Are you cooking meth? I don't know what's going on. I don't even know why a hot plate would be on the list, but uh, yes, number one, you can't bring a hot plate on the cruise ship. Number two. No ham radio. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It, look, if you are in a, an amateur radio enthusiast, if you like to fire up the old ham radio and talk to somebody across the world, if you like to get an entry in your logbook that you talk to somebody from Singapore when you're in a shack in Wyoming, you, you can't do it on the cruise ship. Uh, it is a prohibited item. You can't sit out in the middle of the sea and try to talk to other uh, radio enthusiasts. I, I, I don't know, maybe it interferes with the ship's communication, but I couldn't imagine dragging uh, a radio on board to have some, some sea-to-land communication. No ham radio. Number three, this one doesn't seem weird to me, I don't guess, but uh, it weird nonetheless. You can't bring on a set of baby monitors. Now, this seems ingenious to me. I, I do believe if you're parents with a small baby and you would normally listen to the breathing and the sleeping and the waking of your baby with a baby monitor, m maybe you would bring it, but I would think for the most part, the baby's going to be in the room with you. So maybe that's the, the one reason they say don't bring it, because What's the other use for it if, if, if your baby's already in the room? Now, maybe you, you got family and uh, you want to put one half of the monitor in another cabin. and uh, It's not like two-way communication. Maybe they could yell through the baby monitor. Um, there's got to be some nefarious use for a baby monitor. Uh, maybe people are sneaking in in rooms. Or, but either way, the cruise lines are like, no. No, the baby's going to be in the room with you. You got no need for the baby monitor. I don't know, leave a comment. What do you think people are using baby monitors for? Number four, closely related to the hot plate, you're not allowed to bring perishable foods and meats on the cruise ship. That means if you went to your favorite butcher down the block and had him carve off for you the sweetest ribeye you've ever seen, a nice, thick, fat, marbleized ribeye, that you'd intended to cook on your hot plate, well, you're out of luck. No perishable meats. I guess that also means that instead of going to the specialty restaurant, if you wanted to fry up some bologna in your cabin, uh, that meat's gonna go bad too. So no perishable foods, no ribeyes, and look, I love fried bologna. No fried bologna on the cruise ship. Number five. Let's just categorize this in the bow chicka wow wow category. You're not allowed to bring handcuffs or other restraints. Now, it seems pretty obvious. They don't want you kidnapping somebody and handcuffing them in your cabin. But I would think most people might be bringing handcuffs on board for something a little more naughty. 
like nautical, naughty, no, you know what I mean. No handcuffs. Now, there is not a prohibition against silk scarves and neckties, but you can't bring the handcuffs. What happens if you lose the key at sea? No handcuffs. Number six, hoverboards. Now, I'm sure hoverboards mean something different than what I'm thinking, but immediately I go to my man, Marty McFly, back to the future, zipping around town on a hover skateboard. I don't think that's what they mean, but for this video, let's just act like that's what they mean. Obviously, they don't want any of your futuristic tech where you can fly around the cruise ship on board. Now, there are other things called hoverboards, those those wheeled things that you stand on. Could you imagine being on the top deck trying to navigate one of those two-wheeled, only controlled with your feet devices that you've seen thousands of people fall on their backs with on the, on the YouTubes, on the social media? Yes, they don't want that on a cruise ship. But again, uh, they definitely don't want the Marty McFly flying around the cruise ship hoverboard. No hoverboards allowed on the cruise ship. It's on the list. Somebody must have brought one on. Number seven, no dangerous chemicals, including bleach and paint. Who's bringing paint on the cruise ship? Maybe, maybe like an artiste, maybe an artist wants to bring his, his oil set on board so that he can sit on the top deck and, and paint. Or maybe just some dude doesn't like the decor of the cruise ship that his wife drug him on, and he's bringing a gallon of Glidden flat white, and he's going to do his own decorating. Maybe that's what they mean. No bleach, I, I, no acid, no, no chemicals. Again, it's not the time to bring your hot plate and cook up something fun, and it's, you, you can't paint anything. Who tried to bring paint on a cruise ship? No paint. Number eight, of course, let me throw it in the list. No list would be complete without a list of things you can't bring on a cruise ship without talking about open flames. Uh, this one is super serious. Uh, they don't want you to bring candles, anything where you're going to do an open flame. Matches and regular lighters are acceptable, but uh, these long torch style lighters are not acceptable. And now to the weird part, specifically novelty lighters that look like a gun are not allowed on the cruise ship. Does this need to be on a list somewhere? Of course, you can't bring anything that looks like a gun on a cruise ship. What do you like, King of the Hill up in the smoking area, pulling out your Glock 9mm that actually is a lighter to light your stogie or your cigarette? I mean, sure, it would look cool. It would make a great picture, I guess. But the cruise line doesn't want to see it. And I tell you what, as fun as maybe trying to get your gun-shaped lighter on board... I'm sure you would have a great time as you tried to get that through security. It's on the prohibited list. It should be on the common sense prohibited list, but yes, no lighters that look like weapons allowed on the cruise ship. Number nine, and I'm talking particularly to you ninjas out there. You're not allowed to bring throwing stars on the cruise ship or really any other kind of martial arts weaponry or any kind of weaponry. I say it's even gonna go to the medieval people. They don't want scabbards, and they don't want uh, nunchucks, and uh, any kind of implement of danger, a crossbow. Uh, of course you know you can't bring weapons on a cruise ship, but maybe you're there, maybe you're a ninja, maybe you're scratching your head going, well, what do you think, throwing stars? They seem a little innocuous. Maybe I could use it to cut my steak. Uh, maybe throwing stars, no, no throwing stars. No dart guns, no spear guns, no weapons on the cruise ship. Sorry, ninjas. And number 10, and look, there was more on this list. I just pulled off 10. Number 10, no inflatable kiddie pools are allowed on a cruise ship. That's right. I know the pool is crowded. I know the kids area is crowded. And maybe I had the bright idea that you would go to your local Target or your local Walmart and buy you a $20 kiddie pool so that you could scoot some of these hogged deck chairs around and put your pool down so you could sit in it with your kids or sit in it for yourself. But the cruise line's going to say, uh, au contraire, mon frere, no extra pools on the pool deck. 
They don't have enough lifeguards to monitor the regular pool and your kiddie pool. And you know if you're hitting that drink package hard, it doesn't take much water for an accident to happen. So no kiddie pools on a cruise. Somebody had to try to bring a kiddie pool for that to be on the list. Now, I know people probably try to bring those big floats and all that stuff, but wow, what kind of gumption is that to go, look, I don't want little Susie to wander off. I'm just going to put her in a kiddie pool. You can't do it on a cruise ship. So yeah, that's that's 10 weird items you can't bring on a cruise. Which one did you find the weirdest? And is there something I should have put on the list that's super weird on these prohibited item lists? Uh, but more importantly, uh, more, more so than what you can't take, it's what you must take on the cruise and what you must put in your carry-on bag. Uh, these are some items you don't want to check. I made a video about that, items you must carry on. Check that video out. Thanks so much for stopping by. Again, my name's Tony with La Lida Loca. And until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.